All right, folks, today I'm going to show you how you balance a gimbal correctly. We are going to balance the DJI RS2 and look at the roll axis return issue you might have. So if your gimbal does this, once you have balanced your gimbal, you have a problem on the roll motor. So let me show you how we fix this so you get perfect balance on all three motors. So here we go. Alright, so as I said, we are going to balance a gimbal today, but first let me just remind you that the Gimbal Academy is open, it's live now, so if you're interested in that and you want me to teach you everything I know about gimbals, go down to the description, find the link and sign up for the Academy. Right now we have two gimbals on the table, the RS2, which is a mix of metal and carbon fiber, and the RSC2, which is a full metal construction gimbal which is similar to many other gimbals out there. The reason why I have both is, is because you probably won't run into the problem with the tightening of the motors or the knobs here on a fully metal construction gimbal as one with carbon fiber. Let's see here on the RSC2, you have these knobs and you don't have to turn these knobs that much to tighten the arms, where on a Gimbal with carbon fiber, even though carbon fiber is a very strong material, it is also a soft material. So you actually has to tighten these knobs much more than you think, think when, you, when you balance this gimbal. But let me go over this uh, when we balance the RS2. If we take the RS2 here, you can see that. Here we have the tilt motor and that is the one that goes up and down. Let's lock that. On the back here you have the roll motor. This one goes left to right. And down here on the bottom you have the pan motor. This one goes side to side. All right, so with that out of the way, let's balance the gimbal. So let's take it from the beginning and start with the camera. The first thing you have to do is that you want to add the quick release plate to the actual camera. And if you have the RS2 and the RSC2, this is the one that comes with it, together with this base plate. But I'm using another base plate and another quick release plate that fits my needs. But the principle here are the same. All right, so the first thing you do is that you take your quick release plate and you add it to the bottom of the camera. Then you take your base plate and slide the camera onto there. Boom, there we go. Then I tighten it so it won't fall off. So the first thing we do is that we take the camera and add it to the gimbal. So let's just slide this one onto here, there we go. And then we lock that. So when I balance the gimbal, I like to stand up because I like to look down on the actual gimbal. It's easier for me to see when I balance it. So let me just raise that camera. All right, here we go, let's balance the gimbal. When I balance a gimbal, I always start from the top and I work my way down. So the first thing we do is that we'll work with the tilt motor and the base plate. These two are connected and they work together. So I open the uh, tilt motor and then you can see I will open that lock and I will slide this back until it stays in its upright position. Then I tighten the lock and then I point the camera up. It falls forward, that means we'll have to move the tilt motor up. So we open the lock and then I move the, the camera up. If it's tight on the tilt arm, just raise the camera a, lit, a bit, li little bit and then you can move the camera up. Slide it down, it's minor adjustments. Now it stays upright, then I lock and tighten this lock. Let's see what happens if we point it forward, it stays. And if we point it down, it will also stay. That means we should have perfect balance on the tilt motor. So what I do is that I lock this motor and then we'll go to the roll motor. And this is where we might bump into a problem. So we open this lock right here and as you can see it falls to the side. So I open the lock, Here we go and then I slide it to the side. And again, if it's tight, then just open the lock even more 
and just lift the arm. You can see you can lift the arm a bit and then you can slide it. Then it moves very easily. But again, the trick here is very minor adjustments. And once it stays right in the center, you have balance. There we go. So here comes the important thing. Then you lock the lock, but you have to tighten it down to get it perfect. Because what, what will happen now is that if we don't tighten this lock, the gimbal or this tilt arm will be a bit pivoted forward. And that means that we don't have perfect balance between the tilt motor and the roll motor. As you can see here, it pivots back to the center and we don't want that. We want it to be able to stay in any direction. So let me show you what I do. I open this one, the, the, the motor, you can see I can open this, turn it back, and then we can tighten it. And I keep tightening until I can't tighten it anymore. So I open and I tight. So there we go. Now I can't tighten it anymore. Then I just put it back in its place so it won't be in the way. There we go. Now it should be able to stay in any direction. You see? We didn't move the camera, we didn't move the tilt mode, we didn't move anything. We just tightened the lock and that made the trick. So now we got perfect balance on the roll motor. Yes, it stays. All right, then we'll go on to the pan motor. We'll lock the roll motor and we open the pan motor. The pan motor is actually pretty easy. All we do is that we point the gimbal forward in about 15 degrees and then we'll slide this back. You can see it falls back to me. Then we'll slide this up. I just push it gently. And once it stays in any direction, we tighten the lock. And again, tighten it firmly, open it up. You can lift this up. You can lift the lock up and then tighten it again. Now it's tight. Let's just point the gimbal forward and see if it stays. It stays there. So that means we have perfect balance on the pan motor. So let's open all the other motors here and see if it stays and if we can get perfect balance no matter what we do. Yes, it looks very promising, I would say. So that is how we get perfect balance on the DJI RS2. All we got to do now is fire it up, auto tune it and adjust the settings and we are ready to shoot. Alrighty, that should solve a big problem on the DDRS2 that I know many of you guys are having, but just remember that the heavier your camera you are, the more force you will put on this tilt arm, the arm right here. So the more force you have here, the more you have to tighten these locks. And again, if you're bumping into this problem in any other gimbal, just tight, tighten the locks as much as you can. All right, guys, that is it. I don't have any more for you on this tutorial, but just remember that if you want to learn all aspects of working with gimbals, sign up for the Gimbal Academy. It is a great academy. We have so many tutorials in there that are worth watching. So go down to the description, find the link, and sign up for the academy. And of course, if this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking with motion. Give this video a big thumbs up and lastly, stay creative and stay safe and if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye. It's